What's up everybody? Ryan from Sports Card Radio. That is right. We are back on a Saturday at the National Sports Collectors Convention. This is right as the doors are opening. You can see dealers still pushing canvases off of their dealer tables and so forth. And sometimes I feel like I miss the very middle show floor uh, tables. So we're going to try to, there's a couple good tables here down the middle of the show floor that we're going to just go right down, show you a little, some more good stuff. And uh, hopefully you're headed here. Hopefully if you're watching this uh, well after it was posted, hopefully you're heading to the next national, which is in Chicago. Thank you to everyone who has been watching this week on uh, on YouTube. I really appreciate it. Appreciate all the all the comments and uh, support. I mean, I, I we we might post one or two videos a year on this channel, and yet every year I come back to the national, and there are still people waiting to watch my national video. So I really appreciate that. And uh, it means a lot. And I hope that you at least get some kind of enjoyment out of seeing at least some of the sights and sounds here at the National Sports Collectors Convention. Here, they gave the, these are the silver and gold packs that you could get as a wrapper redemption um, at the Panini and, and Topps booth. So, lots of nice stuff. I saw a uh, Jordan PSA 10 uh, rookie the other day. Somebody had that. We were standing outside talking. So, you never know. Somebody might just bust out a $20,000 card right in front of you at any moment. So, it's pretty cool. I didn't want to hold it because, uh, you know, you always get a little nervous in uh, those scenarios. Like somebody asks you to drive their, their expensive car, you might, might not want to do it. This is a great table over here. I mean, there's nobody over here, but later on today, I mean, there's just going to be people lined up here digging into these 10 cent boxes. You know, you can just sit here and flip through. Now, in years past, I haven't gone through these boxes this year, but in years past, where was it? It was, it might have been here in 2014 where I, I sat here for a good hour maybe and dug through some boxes i found serial numbered cards i found cards that were worth way more than 10 cents i had cards that i sent in to check out my cards that i could flip for more money like there's some prison basketball cards um this is a good this is a good table to come to if you're looking for just want to sit here and dig through some boxes because uh it's a lot of modern newer stuff that isn't as picked through uh maybe it is now on a saturday but it isn't as picked through as as you normally would think. So good 10 cent boxes there. That Puig and Trout car, that's crazy. Um, I sold that one already, but yeah, like the ultimate, um, yeah, this was like 5 55 55 on that one. Lots of Mike Trout. He's seen a lot of Mike Trout cards this week. Some cases have just all Mike Trout cards. There was somebody selling a whole case of Mike Trout cards. Somewhere over here, actually, that was uh, $2,500. bucks. It definitely was overpriced because you only got, I think, three or four autographs. So might have to nickel them down on that. Yeah, 
Mill Creek Sports. This is the one I want to check out. He's got a bunch of old stuff over here. Thomas Wagner right there. And uh, met the uh, Newt Rockney. In the fly fishing store next yeah. door. And he worked at another company. Oh, Davis. So that's the South Kids. That's cool. Jackie Robinson right there. Hank Aaron autographs. I saw him in January at the Tops Transcendent Party. Oh, I just untied my shoelace. Once I know, I you know what you know. You know what I've seen people sign stuff. Cool. Pistol Pete Maravich ball right there. The glove is uh, Roberto Clemente signed. Five thousand nine hundred bucks. It's pretty cool. So my shoelace is untied. If I trip and fall, please do not laugh at me. And if you're close, maybe try to help me up. It's another Honus Wagner piece there. Some Mickey Mantle. Teddy ball game autographs down there. About 350 to on up. There's one back there for 275. Some signed checks. With Jackie Robinson, Walt Disney, a couple of Vince Lombardi. Walter Payton uh, index card, 69 bucks. Doesn't seem like a bad deal to me. Ben Scully, Ben Hogan. there was one other table I wanted to show you guys too. Let me go over here actually. This is some vintage stuff. Let me show off this stuff. Larry Delby, who I believe was the first uh, black player to play in the American League, if I'm not mistaken. My history is correct. Willie Mays right there, Mr. Willie. We love him. There's an off center Mickey. There's another Mickey there. That one's kind of cool. A little more centered up. It's a Reggie Jackson rookie card right there. Ted Williams manager card. Ooh, Willie with the Mets there. Late career Willie. Pretty cool stuff here. Lots of cool stuff here at the National Sports Collectors Convention. You can come over here and they've got the cards in the binders. And if you're looking to fill out a set or maybe you're looking for that special one you need, you know, convenient, quick and easy, get in here and check it out.
Bill Russell iron on there. It's pretty cool. Bird versus worthy, I like those. Rudy Tom Janovich. So I hope you have enjoyed uh, some of the sights and sounds videos from the National Sports Collectors Convention. I uh, This is my last day at the show. I'm heading out in a couple hours, going to go to Las Vegas for a night, and then I'm headed home to Arizona to get to work and watch some 49ers. Hopefully Jimmy G has a good season as Joe Montana used to have. And we get some victories and some sellout crowds. George Brett rookie, uh, Dan Marino rookie card. That's a nice Kareem right there. More George Brett. I thought about it. I think about that. Sometimes I look back at something I wrote and I go, it's pretty good. And if you've been following along this week, you know we had a little run in with. Uh, I uh, wouldn't call him a friend of Sports Card Radio, but uh, perhaps an enemy of Sports Card Radio, Mr. Tom Fish. Well, he might rue the day, folks, that he tried to mess with someone from the city of Stockton, California. And if you don't, if you don't believe me, why don't, why don't you stop what you're doing right now and Google, just Google Stockton, California. And I'm sure uh, some of the things that come up are not going to be that positive. Maybe the whole first page on Google is not going to be that positive. So, Mr. Fish, unfortunately, for him at least, and it's a great joy for me, every time I do walk by his booth, I do ask him how his hacked website is and if he's fixed it yet. And you should have seen the look on his face every time I do that and now somebody did contact me and I appreciate that you can contact me anytime sportscardshow at gmail.com you can also text sportscardradio at any time my Las Vegas number is 702 900 2149 you can text me you can show off your cards you can ask me questions you can pump me up you can talk shit doesn't matter to me but what Fish found out today is that every time I go by his booth, his table, or if I see him, they see this isn't the only place I see him. I go to the Topps Transcendent party every year. He happens to be there. When we're sitting there eating filet mignon, I'll ask him the same thing because what do I care? So somebody did reach out to me and told me that when his website was hacked, it wasn't hacked in the traditional sense by a Russian or some 400 pound person sitting on his bed. They told me that his employees, that an employees were stealing the credit card numbers and I don't know if they were using them themselves or if they were then selling them on some kind of dark net market. So that's what I heard and I went by and asked them. I said, hey Fish, I heard it was your employees that stole the credit cards you should go you should ask them about it and you should have seen the look on their empo his employees faces when i said that so that'll continue well into the future today this week and we'll probably get that on video at some point so if you talk to tom fish or blow out cards tell him uh you know ryan says hi and next time he sees him wherever it is if it's in if it's in a very public place, I will always ask him in front of however many people how his hacked website is doing. So if you want to try to step to myself, my brother, or anyone at Sports Card Radio, be prepared that I might unleash the full fire and fury 
on your behind. Anyways, take it easy from the national. I'm off to the fabulous city of Las Vegas. And if we don't do another video until next year, again, thank you so very much for everything. And uh, all your, uh, just watching the view, watching the videos and coming back every year to check this out. I appreciate it. And if I don't see you uh, until next year, hope to see you in Chicago.